Good morning, <clears throat> YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. I'm down on the lower level. And um, it's been three days since I made a video, and it's a Sunday morning here in West Michigan. It is 9 11, September the 11th, 2022. It is 9 13 in the morning here in West Michigan. I'm down on the lower level. And I have, I can make all kinds of videos. Um, just before I turned the camera on, I was looking at my New Yorker collection. I got this book um, Friday at the Book Nook. It was a library withdrawal. Uh, the cast of characters, Wilcott Gibbs, E.B. White, James Thurber, and the Golden Age of the New Yorker by Thomas Van Geriar. I can't pronounce his name. But I've been reading this um, since Friday. I had this thing about the New Yorker. Um, you know, you could collect books on the Rolling Stones magazine. You could collect books on Vanity Fair. You could collect books on all kinds of newspapers and literary journals. But I collect books on the New Yorker because I always like now, I don't subscribe to The New Yorker. I've tried to read it over the years, but um, it takes discipline to read The New Yorker. But, and, uh, but I just have this thing about The New Yorker, and uh, so I just started collecting books. <coughs> and this one came, this was in the book nook. Uh, the point is, a, a minute ago, before I turned the camera on, I have a huge New Yorker collection. And, but I was going to show it and I said now. But the last two books I bought, one I bought where I got on the New Yorker, was Letter from the Editor, The New Yorker's Harold Ross. Harold Ross was the founder of The New Yorker. Uh, it says here from the introduction, Ross ran The New Yorker utterly, relentlessly, and largely in the same way he juggled his demanding social life with copious stream of letters uh, telegrams, even scrawled notes to his staff and contributors. The editor's dispatches spilled over with ideas, explanations, tips, gossip, suggestions, and occasionally apologies. Ross was propelled by boundless energy and interest. He seemed to know every one of his day worth, worth knowing and led an extensive, larger than seems possible today. Led an existence far larger than it seems possible today. Clean or sc sc scraggy, S the correspondence reveals an expansive intellect and wit. With his partner and benefactor, Fletchman, who was typically patronizing, was Thurber, he was patient with Whites, E.B. White, he was natural with H.L. Minchkin, he was respectful. With Rebecca West, he was reflective. Mostly a reader comes away from this material appreciating his passion, which was unbridled, and his integrity, with, which was complete. So I got this, and then I, I bought this last year. The People in a Magazine, The Selected Letters of S.N. Bierman and his editors at The New Yorker. People in the mag. This is uh, edited by Joseph Goodrich. So I'm always getting books on the New Yorker if I find them. <laughs> but I didn't have this one. I was really surprised. I found it in a box at the book nook in the back, and it was going to be discarded, and I grabbed it. <laughs> so I've been reading that. But what I want to make this video about is not about the New Yorker, but showing you some. Not all the books, but some of the books I got at the book nook the last couple of weeks. As far as my diary, this morning I'm on page 858 for the year 2022. And I'm still reading in the mornings the Reformation Commentary in Second Corinthians. And I'm reading Dionysus and the Carthusian. Volume 2 of his commentary on the Psalms. I got one Psalm, Psalm 50, 
and then I'm done with this volume and then I will start volume three of Quinta Glorias in Matria. <laughs> it's in Latin. I don't know Latin, but this is from Psalm 51 to 75. As I said, this is a projected six volumes. This is volume three, which came out a couple of months ago. Yeah, it came out in 2022. So to the books, so I'm going through the Psalms, I'm on Psalm 49, and I'll be on Psalm 50 this morning, and then I'm done with that commentary. So to the books, as I mentioned in one of my previous vi past videos, a bunch of books came in, a donation a couple weeks ago, and I got some, I went through them and I took some and bought some, and I bought this book. Maya Cosmos, 3,000 Years of the Shaman Path by David Friedel, Linda Schnell, and Joy Parker, author of The Forest of Kings. I collect books on shamans. Don't ask me why. I have a whole stack over there on the floor. Uh, but this looked like an interesting book. Uh, I... When I was in Bible college, when I first went to Bible college back in, oh, 78, 79, I was going to be a missionary. I was thinking about becoming a missionary and being, going to the Amazon jungles. I was very romantic, kind of very naive and idealistic. But I thought of becoming a missionary among the Amazon Indians. <laughs> Don't ask me why. But then I realized, because when I was in Bible college, I was a mission major. I majored in uh, missions and uh, Christian education. But as I took all these classes on missions, I realized I couldn't be a missionary. <laughs> so I kind of switched my focus to being a minister. But I got this book. And then I collect books on Joseph Campbell, and I didn't have this one in my collection, The Mythic Image of Joseph Campbell. This is the greatest survey of mythic art ever assembled, it says in the back. When I was really young, in high school, in my early 20s, I was in comparative religion, so I got into Joseph Campbell, and this one I didn't have in my collection. In this donation were lots of art books, and I took a couple of them, and one of them I bought, she charged me $7 for this, is Art Nouveau, uh, 1890 to 1914. This is just an absolutely gorgeous book. It goes for $75 new. I got it for $7. And it's just incredible if you're into Art Nouveau, uh, architect and ceramics and all kinds of just fascinating book. Uh, it's kind of a table book. But it's just an uh, incredible book. It has all kinds of... There was also an Art Nouveau book of Art Nouveau in Barcelona, Spain, which looked really interesting. And uh, But I grabbed this one. For, I have other books on Art Nouveau. It's just a, a really neat book. So I got this. Also, this one came in, and I grabbed it for, I think I got it for set this one. It's on Banzantine, uh, Truth and Power, 1261 to 1557. It's just an incredible book. It's just all this Banzantine art and history in it. This book also goes for... Oh, at least $75. You can get these from Amazon. They're not expensive. Used. But, um... It's just an incredible book. If I just, you know... Since I've been at the book nook over the years, I've gotten a lot of art books. And someday I should do a, a whole video on them all the art books I've bought at the book nook over the years. 
It's not like abstract art, the 60s abstract movement in New York City, Impressionism, Surrealism, you know, all kinds of books. So I got those, and then I picked up uh, short stories by Shirley Jackson. I found out I had this already in a hardback, so I'll take this to the book nook tomorrow, Monday. I also got this at the book nook, uh, Scribble, 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 Writing on Politics, Ice Cream, Churchill, and My Mother by Simon Shema. I collect his writings. I had this, but mine was a beat up copy, so I kept the paperback and I took back the one I had to the book nook. I like his writings. I have a whole shelf of his writings and I really enjoy his essays and his writings. Um, like he wrote The Power of Art, Embarrassment of Riches, Interpretation of Dutch Culture in the Golden Age, Citizens, A Chronicle of the French Revolution, uh, History of Britain. I have that whole trilogy of he wrote on the history of Britain. So I really also watch his videos on YouTube. He's a very uh, interesting person to listen to as he talks. I picked up Nana by Zola. I have a copy of this already. This is my copy. Oh, <laughs> this is my, I've had this for years, but then uh, this is a bigger copy. See how it's different. So it's a Penguin classic. I. I start reading this. I got show this in a video just recently, so now I have two copies. And then this is uh, Proust's Shadow of the Young Girls. This is volume two in his uh, massive work of Remembrance of Times Past and In Search of Lost Time. <laughs> but this is a new translation and I collect different translations of his works and this came into the book nook and I've read uh, oh, about 200 pages of this. Then this came into the book nook. I collect Robert Graves and I didn't have this one. The White Goddess, Historical Grammar of Poetic Myth by the White Goddess. Robert Graves, he uh, he wrote I, I Claudius, Claudius the God. He wrote poetry. He was a very interesting person and uh, I collect his writings. So this came into, I didn't have this one and uh, I was really pleased to find a copy of it. Got it for a dollar fifty. Book of Poetry by John Updike. I collect all his books, but I didn't have this little book of poetry of his, John Updike. He wrote for the New Yorker. I got this from my Truman Capote collection, Party of the Century, The Fabulous Story of Truman Capote and His Black and White Ball by Deborah Davis. And this came into... Uh, I didn't know anything about this, but I collect books on Truman Capote, his writings, memoirs, biographies, but just add this to my Truman Compote collection. Here's another art book, uh, Centrality in Western Art, Sexuality in Western Art by Edward Lucy Smith. It's just history of sexuality in Western art. I like I like little art books like this. Uh, so I pick this up. I like I keep these by my reading chairs, so I, can, I like looking at the illustrations. Here is a short story, a, a story selected by De Mori. Don't Look Now. This is a, a New York uh, a New York Review books. You know, I collect these. This is uh, De More's Selected Stories. You know, she's very famous for her novel, Rebecca, which I 
also got at the book nook. This is a hardback uh, of her famous novel, Rebecca de, uh, de Moray. And then I picked this book up, another book, Art Nouveau by Alistair Duncan. Yeah, I like the, the illustrations in here and uh, Art Nouveau. And all kinds of illustrations on Art Nouveau. Really nice little book. Got it for, uh, I think, a dollar fifty. Yeah, I really like Art Nouveau. So I got that. So those are the some of the books I got at the book nook. I got more books from uh, from the book nook, and I got some books in the mail. But those I just thought I'd show to you. Like I said, I've been reading. The cast of characters reading Dionysus and the Carthusian on the Psalms. Uh, I was reading that uh, Mulligan Stew, that novel, but I kind of got burnt out on it, so I put it aside, give myself a rest. I kind of, I'm a mood reader. I read something for, you know, two or three hundred pages and then I get kind of burnt out and go into something else. I have been reading also Peseda at night. Uh, almost 500 pages in this thing. This is by Richard Zenith. So. Always something to read, uh, something to ponder, something to write about. So that's uh, my book life, writing in my composition notebook at night. Last night was December the 10th, I wrote. I always keep a little marker in there uh, of a hawk that... And, uh, Also a little sparrow I keep in this. I love birds. <laughs> That's about it. So I just thought I'd drop by, show you my book nook books, what I'm reading, where I'm writing, what's going on. I'm not doing too good lately, last couple of days. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of freaked out about getting old and going through changes and the world. I mean... I just don't fit anymore in this world and I don't feel comfortable anymore and I just have to pray to keep going. So I hope you all had a good last week, hope you have a good new week. Thank you for the new subscribers. If you got any questions, anything you want to ask me, just feel free. Uh, I do notice that, you know, I've been commenting on people's videos and I go back and the comments are gone. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll write a response to a comment to one of you guys and it disappears. I don't know where it goes. I can't figure out this booktube, YouTube thing. But I do appreciate all comments. I try to respond to everything. I try to respond to watch people's videos. I wrote a video. The other day I was watching a video from a, a, a booktuber. I spent a half hour writing this comment and it was gone when I went back to see, you know, to edit it and it was gone. So I don't know. It gets kind of frustrating. So I just thought uh, to share with you. Hope you have a good new week, a good reading week. And until next time, bye.